Hi everyone, and welcome to Frank DeFano News, your one and only news source for all things Frank DeFano. And today we have a breaking news story for you. I'm joined with my reporter in the field, Ollie. Ollie, tell us, is it true that Frank is paying to see my OnlyFans? Yes, thank you, Richard. I am now standing right outside Frank DeFano's apartment, and it is indeed true that Frank DeFano did in fact subscribe to your OnlyFans. And he admitted it himself during a workout live stream that he paid $20 for a subscription to see your cock and balls. It is quite humorous indeed. So this whole story starts off late last night. I was doing a Q&A stream, nothing unusual. And while I was doing the Q&A, somebody in the chat mentioned that Frank DeFano was doing one of his cringy workout streams. So just for a laugh, I figured I'd tune into his stream and just give my own commentary, criticism, you know, laugh at Frank. There he goes doing the kickbacks, and he can't even do kickbacks. What does he think that's doing? Like, look, I can do the same thing he's doing, but like, properly? Yeah, so he's leaning over a bit, and he's lifting his leg up, but, I mean, he's only going like this. His leg is barely moving. He's going, eh, eh. Like, look. Is he crippled? Like, is he disabled in some way? He's struggling with like 10 pounds? So we we're all having a good time laughing about Frank DeFano and some people from my live stream decided to go over to his chat and mention that I was watching him doing this workout live stream and Frank got the bright idea to make fun of me by mentioning my OnlyFans and he basically exposed the fact that he's paying for my OnlyFans. So Any comment that mentions your name on a stream instantly gets deleted. Well, yeah, he's he's banned me from his stream, and I think he's asked his moderators not to let anyone mention me. Any anyone see X person's OnlyFans? I'm kind of laughing because my cock is literally twice as big as his. <laughs> he's mentioning me. Like, he's yeah, mentioning sorry. me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, uh, funny you say that, Frank, since you're so ashamed of your nudes going out online. Uh, dude, it, it's, he's seen my OnlyFans! He literally just admitted he saw it! Really now. That's so hilarious! So Frank subbed to my OnlyFans, he wanted to see me f***ing naked, and then he's trying to act as if, of, as if he's not gay. Like, That's so funny. making a lot of fucking caught dude <laughs> so Frank is referring to me as person X and that's pretty obvious because I'm the only person he won't mention by name he does this because I've embarrassed him so many times he's just afraid to even mention my name and he yeah he just admitted that he subbed to my OnlyFans that's the only way he could possibly have seen these photos there aren't any leaks online so he would have had to have paid for a subscription to see me naked on OnlyFans which is funny because this is the same person who's made so many homophobic remarks making fun of people for being gay and looking at gay porn. At Ram Ranch, we have the givers and the receivers. In the context of the Cargill cowboy community, we call these bottoms and tops. I myself prefer to identify as neither as I don't participate in such satanic activities. Love me, you good woman. But no, it turns out that Frank is gay, and apparently he's even attracted to me. At least attracted enough to pay $20 for my OnlyFans subscription. That's how badly the guy wants to see me naked. And Frank tried to, again, like, make some sort of insult towards me by saying, Oh, my dick is twice the size of vegan gains. Uh, not even in your dreams, Frank. Uh, so you can tell this is a very obvious lie just by his really awkward laugh and his whole weird reaction. Any, anyone see X person's OnlyFans? I'm kind of laughing because my cock is literally twice as big as his. <laughs> and I'm like half his size. <laughs> So not only is Frank insecure about his sexuality, but he's also insecure about the size of his pee-pee, so he has to lie about that as well. But don't just take my word for it, you can sub to my OnlyFans, there's plenty of photos of me naked, you can see my pee-pee, and you can compare that to Frank DeFano's, if you so choose. There's 
plenty of photos and videos of Frank online, totally naked with his cock out. You can even see him shove big dildos up his butt. I guess that kind of explains why he subbed to my OnlyFans. And believe it or not, Frank still wasn't done embarrassing himself for the night. He ended up going on a narcissistic rant about how amazing and good looking he is. Imagine being 30 years old watching this dude work out. You guys watch people work out that look half as good as me. At least I'm handsome. Like you guys watch that athlete next dude, like I'm sorry, but like, ugh. At least watch someone funny and decent looking. Like what the? F like listen, you you guys you guys can make fun of me all you want, but reality is it's better than whatever the f else is on this platform. Oh. Yikes. And after Frank was done telling everyone what a pretty boy he is, because apparently that's not self-evident, he felt the need to remind everyone, he actually ended up admitting that no girls will date him. If you're six foot, you get all the girls? I don't really know. Yeah, Frank's like five yeah, foot I can six. Get girls if I want, they just don't. They just won't date me, which is fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> just hang out with F. You know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's a male biological trait, but that's right. That's right. Yeah, girl. Girls won't uh, date him. He just admitted it. And this seems to make Frank really insecure. The fact that no women are interested in dating him. He constantly lies about how easy it is to have sex with women because they're all sluts. There's a ton of women who aren't sluts. If you think we're all sluts, you're wrong. No, but it, I mean, just the girls I meet are sluts because I'm the one going to the clubs. I find when guys talk like this, it just means they've been rejected and they can't handle it. Very well said. And it's funny how Frank constantly talks about how handsome he is. He's so much better looking than everyone. Oh, he's so smart and amazing. And all these girls are sluts. They're constantly after him. But for some reason, he, he even admits it himself. He can't even go on one date? Are you kidding me? So uh, Frank is so insecure about this, he actually pays models to go on fake dates with him. Uh, on his YouTube channel, he set up this fake Valentine's Day date. I did a whole video exposing that this girl was just paid for. Uh, he found this girl on Model Mayhem and just paid her to go on a date and show everyone on YouTube, oh look guys, I'm straight and I can go on dates with girls. When no, uh, no women are interested in you, Frank. I don't even know if you're interested in women at all. Uh, but Frank is a narcissist and he can't handle any rejection from anyone. And he's actually talked about this. He's made live streams where he's admitted he is so mad at girls who reject him that he actually wants to throw rocks at them. Keep swiping on Tinder. She's out there. Tinder. It's a waste of my fault. I'm not doing that. It's not worth it. I'd literally rather go to, I'd literally rather spend like an hour driving out to Manhattan and just throwing rocks at girls on the street than going on Tinder. Yikes. So again, this just proves that Frank is in fact a narcissist. He's wondering, oh, why can't I get a date? Well, it's pretty obvious to everyone. It's because you're a horrible, nasty person that no one wants to spend any time around. I've also met some people who've actually run into you and they tell me you smell really bad. They can actually smell you from literally 20 feet away. That can't be helping. But yeah, Frank, uh, the reason you can't get a date is because you are the definition of toxic. No one wants to spend time around a narcissist. And as a narcissist, he can't rationalize rejection properly. Uh, he can't admit that there's anything wrong with him, so he has to put the blame on other people. And the way he's done this with women rejecting him is, he blames women for being too picky. How come I'm so condescending to women? What did I say? I just called the carnivore girls ugly. <laughs> That's all I said. And I, all, all I said was two things. The carnivore girls are ugly, and a lot of girls won't date me because I'm not six feet tall. What is that? How is that condescending? Okay, so let's give Frank DeFano a dose of reality. Uh, any women watching, tell me if you've ever dated or are currently dating a guy who's under six foot tall. Tell me if you even care about height. And any men watching, uh, tell me if you're under six foot tall and have had any issues getting girls. Um, Frank, the fact is, you're just a horrible, nasty, toxic person. You smell, uh, you're not nearly as good looking as you think you are or want to be, 
and that's why no one's interested in you. But um, enjoy my OnlyFans. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say, dude. Uh, I'll be uploading content regularly to it that I'm sure you'll enjoy. And um, yeah, for all of you watching, if you want to see me naked, yeah, sub to my OnlyFans. Uh, you might run into Frank Defano on there, so that might be funny. And if you like this video, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon or through my website. I have some funning perks you may find interesting. If you're looking for clothing, then check out the Vegan Gain store. And if you're looking for online coaching, then check out Quality Gains. He offers customized meal and training programs. And if you click the link in the description, you can get a free ebook. And check out my wife, Jasmine's OnlyFans. She's hot as hell. She does full nudes. So if you're into that sort of thing, if you want to see women, which Frank isn't interested in, then sub to her OnlyFans. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.